lot of time on my hands. So what I wanted to talk about was um, image and how it's relevant in music. Apparently, I got this idea after what after making a uh, video on the Jonas Brothers, which is here annotation. Now, uh, my argument stemmed from when one guy said um, the Jonas Brothers were only famous for their good works. This led me to think of an argument which I'd seen some time ago, in which two musicians, one a black guy, a uh, big, big fat black guy, uh, I think his name was King, and another guy, Soldier Boy, who we all know of, um, they have very similar kinds of music. They're both hip hop, rap, whatever you want to call it. Um, while Soldier Boy was getting lots of acclaim, King was getting a a lot of criticism, I'm not going to deny, he was a big fat bloke but he was getting a lot of criticism calling, saying stupid fat, fat so and all the rest of that crap now because of the fact that they were both pretty much the same skin colour and the same form of music I was led to believe that the actual argument was due to image itself which therefore uh, just reinforces my argument that bands like the Jonas Brothers are quite popular because of their good looks now in the metal scene we do get bands who whether they're metal or not, that are associated with the metal scene, we do get bands who do rely on good looks over other things. Um, I'm not going to name any groups, but I can think of one example who I criticise quite infamously in another video. You're welcome to criticise me on that, just remember, whatever you say, I'm just going to ignore it. I have my own rights, my own opinions on the matter. Now, it only stems from my argument that bands are famous because of their looks. In heavy metal, we don't really have that. I mean, I myself have, um, well, like, I got sick of the whole stereotype of, like, you have to look in a certain way to be metal. No, you don't. Why do you think I cut my hair off and dressed like a normal person? Normal person? <laughs> what the fuck is normal? No, but basically what I'm trying to say is, you don't have to dress like anything to be part of the culture. You just have to, well, basically, you just learn to enjoy things and learn to be yourself at the same time. It's the most essential part. Just be yourself. Don't try and be something else. <laughs> Enough of that, let's go back to the point. Band, some bands are just famous because of their looks over anything. The Jonas Brothers um, are quite popular amongst younger kids, uh, especially girls. So, this only stemmed my argument that um, image and mainstream music just made bands popular. Which is why Soldier Boy, despite having the exact same image, um, not image, sorry, exact same music as King, got considerably less criticism in regards to his appearance, whereas King, the big fat dude, nothing wrong with fat people by the way, they're completely decent guys and girls, he, um, King himself got a shitload of criticism for it, which only reinforces my argument that unfortunately in popular music, and sadly in metal music as well to some degree, image is all the important stuff. Image really isn't that important. What's important is the music and the interpretation and how you enjoy the music. Now that's what I think. It's imp music is just music and you should learn to enjoy it regardless of who the hell is doing it. If hit the release the pop song tomorrow, I know you won't. But regardless of whoever the hell he was, I know all about Hitler by the way. I study him along with the rest of the Nazis. Regardless of who he was, if the music was enjoyable and wasn't preaching anything right wing realistically, you could still enjoy it. Now, obviously, that's a really controversial statement. Obviously, if Hitler was preaching right-wing bollocks in his music, I'd say, you know, I'm not interested. Unfortunately, I'd still allow him the dignity to write what he wanted. I just wouldn't listen to it. But I'm going off topic here. I'm talking more about lyrical interpretation now over the image itself. By the way, Hitler sucks, Nazi punks can fuck off, and, um, unless you fucking think in some ways. That's just to clear out the fact that I'm not supporting Hitler in that statement because I'm aware that people might take that controversially. So yeah, Nazi punks, fuck off. Image in music is playing a huge part in it, unfairly and biasedly I think, and I think it's making some bands get considerably more bigger publicity than others. Some bands just happen to look nice and happen to be very talented too. Unfortunately, it's not all the case, and the King and Soldier Boy example is perfect in this example. Post a, post a comment or video response. I'm making or attempting to make a comeback on YouTube now after being absent for a long time, and I would like people's opinions. Thank you.